what's up y'all welcome back to my video it's your girl baby brie okay and we back with another video today's video is gonna be me talking about this story time it's a story time when my neighbor was peeking in my window and no telling how long he was peeking in my window so y'all make sure i get some popcorn get some snacks and stay tuned to this story time because it's very interesting and crazy okay Bitches stay mad, stay trippin' Cindy bag full of blue honey, straight crippin' If a nigga like a pic, she hate different Last year was underrated, now my rate different Now my cake different Switch the recipe, I bake different The juicy on the set in the club Okay guys, so this story has took place at my childhood's house The house I grew up since I was a little girl Since I was born, okay? On the north side of Long Beach, okay? Where I'm from, what's up? Okay, y'all, yeah. so... This dude lived like three three houses from me. So he was considered my neighbor, right? And he was giving me much pervert vibes. Like he was a pervert. Like he was basically like looking at you, little girls, the way that he shouldn't be looking at you. And it was just disgusting. But at the time I was still young, so I really didn't too much think nothing of it because my whole life, I always had guys stare at me ever since I was younger or not. But it did gross me out when I had older guys stare at me in a different way. I still had that common sense to where it's like, okay, you older, you shouldn't not be looking at me like that. But, whatever. So, I didn't think of the oven. I was just, you know, he stare, he stare, you know, whatever. So, my grandma had this nice house that I was staying at. It was my grandparents' house. And in the backyard, we had a lemon tree. We had an avocado tree. Uh, we had an aloe vera plant and what else, what else, what else? Aloe vera and I forget, I think that was it. So our backyard was pretty big, right? And we used to always go outside, help my, my grandma water the grass, plant, pull up the avocados, get the lemons, you know, this and that. Like we would just help, you know, our, what we always do. And where the avocado at that was growing it was by my window at the time i was um the avocado tree was built by my window so we would always be on that side of the house where my window was and basically like one day i remember i found a um a, a what's that called that guy's coming here with a um a comb. I'm going to say a comb. I found the comb. like, But the comb that you pick an afro with. I found the comb just laying there. And I was like, what is this? Like, I told my girl, I'm like, what is this? And she was like, I don't know what that doing back here. What y'all been doing back here? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think nothing of it. Days go by. Another day, we found a little mini chair. Basically, like a chair you would stand on so you could see. So you could see, you know, in my window. Because my window was pretty much high up so you couldn't just see like that you have to stand on something to see so it was a stool back there then we would start getting suspicious like okay what the fuck and i showed it to my grandma and then at this point they was thinking i was sneaking boys in the house or i had something going on because i wasn't fast but i was into boys well i'm still into boys but i was just very much like that girl who <laughs> you know what i'm saying I was like, no, why don't I think we're in the house? Y'all know if I have a boy in the house, this and that, la, 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 like, the fuck? So, we still didn't think nothing of it. Next day go by, it was something else back there, and now we will start getting suspicious, like, okay, this is not being creepy, like, what the fuck going on? But, like I said, I was still young, so we really still didn't think nothing of it. So, one day, me and my cousin walk into the store. We walk into the store. And if you feel numbers, you know what Don Liquor Store is. We walked to Don Liquor Store and we got some snacks, some hot, the hot Cheeto balls that was still out. We were just, like, thinking we the shit because we had so much snacks. And we was walking back. And we walking, we walking, and we walking. And we noticed, for one, okay, my brother was always out in the streets, you know? Like, he was always out with his friends. Two, my grandpa um, was built a different type of way to where if it's a guy coming out my house i know it's not i could tell if it's my grandpa he was in the back reading the newspaper and my grandma was in the back so it's pr pretty much nobody was home but my grandparents and at this time it was like six o'clock p.m but it was still dark 
it was like around that time it was still dark but it was still early enough for us to go to the store so pretty much you could tell who's coming from the house okay so we walk and walk and walk and walk in. and as we get closer we see our neighbor coming from our backyard okay so mind you say i'm the fourth house that all this is the porch and it's the gate okay he's coming from the gate and me and my cousin looked at each other like shocked like what is you doing like what are you doing back here oh no i was just trying to find my dog this and that so i went to the house and told my grandpa and i went into my mom and my auntie got home and we told our parents and then the next day something similar happened again okay so this time what well, wasn't really the next day the next day my mom and them said they was gonna come for him but you know he was like pretty much ducked off didn't come around whatever so he was gone you know he didn't come back around whatever 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 then another time i seen a stool and a gate cracked so it was a different stool and the gate was cracked okay it was like our side gate you could tell when somebody going in and out because it was like loud so we knew who was going in and out so basically the gate was open okay but it was those old gates to where if you unlock it you could like lift it up like if you're trying to sneak so it was one of those gates so that's probably that's pretty much what he was doing so it was unlocked and it was another store so this time my mom and my auntie walked to the store they was walking to the store because the store was really close to us to where it wasn't no point of driving so we always walked so they was walking to the store when they came back they was like at the corner house like i say two houses from the corner my house it was like i say right here and it's like four houses and it's the corner they was at like the third house and seeing him come out again so they yelling like what the fuck you doing back there nah, 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 nah. and he's using the same excuse saying he was trying to find his dog he did have a big black dog but the thing about it is why would your dog run in our gates and if they're running our backyard our backyard gate was always closed so at the end of the day you know you're lying like you're lying so he said he was trying to find his dog that was the lamest excuse you could ever say like you're trying to find your dog so he ended up not finding his dog i mean he ended up like basically lying like you know so we basically was putting two and two together like okay two pick stools gate unlock he was peeking in our window after that happened like after i found that out i was freaked the fuck out like i was in middle school and i was changing i you know my mom was in there and it was just creepy because to know like you're getting undressed you're a little girl you know i used to be dancing in the mirror and shit this and that like and it's like to know somebody was literally peeking at you through the window and it was your neighbor that shit is them embarrassing as fuck like even you know it, it was just like come on now come on now like you could have download porn you could have did so much other shit besides sneaking and, and like you just like you gotta be one bold nigga to really do some shit like that so it really had the audacity to go in somebody backyard and really like and then come out through the front way like you just have to have some some nerves like you have to be sick in the head to do that if if you're going to be sneaking around at least don't come back out the front way you're going to come you're going to enter the backyard passing the main door and come back out passing you know but like i said no telling when he was doing it he probably was going back there late midnight you never know i'm just like i was so scared when i found that out like i wasn't even changing in there like if my mom was at home i wouldn't even sleep in the room i would sleep in the living room or i would go to my auntie room or my grandma room like i was just so so scared like i was frightened now after that we never seen no toothpick no cone or none of that back there in a minute and it was just like giving me just very disgusting vibes 
and it was like it was crazy because normally him and his family would be walking to the store or he'll walk to the store and we had not been seeing him you know or if he would get in the car and we see him he would like look the other way so fast like he could like you could tell he was like embarrassed like that shit is just disgusting i hate perverts but that was my short story time when my neighbor was sneaking through my window it was very creepy so if you enjoyed this little story time make sure you guys comment subscribe give me a thumbs up and let me know what else y'all want to see because we coming back 2020 2021 hard i hope 2021 be a blessed year for everybody make sure you guys stay safe stay smart yeah and subscribe to my